So hi Julie, welcome. Hi Claire. Um, right, so we're going to jump straight in with the first question. Which woman or women um, have you found inspirational? So I think it's really tempting to say somebody who's famous or a celebrity, but actually there's a lot of women in my life who are really inspirational. Um, for my mum, who's been a carer her whole life, um, my sister who went blind about 17 years ago, and she set up a charity where she supports other blind people and runs groups every day of the week, um, to a whole group of my friends who inspire me. So I'm in a book group, um, which is a book group where we're all from, um, everyone's from different places around the world. It's quite an international book group, so we all introduce books from our own cultures. And, um, you know, there's, there's people in that who are, you know, consultants working with COVID cases. There's um, head of data for TFL, um, heads of um, global diversity for big organisations. So people that have really inspired me and shown me that women can do anything that they want to do. Now, how did you how did you find yourself in your career, and when did you how did did you fall into it? Did you know what you wanted to do, and when did you know that the job you were in was the job that you loved? I think I had this feeling when I was younger, you know, I just heard about media studies, it was just becoming a thing and I thought, oh that sounds interesting because I was never really allowed to watch TV as a kid. Oh. So it's kind of a rebellious thing, I wasn't yeah, allowed yeah. to watch EastEnders so I'm going to go off and study TV programmes. I did all of that and I became a runner and I, I worked my way up, always as a freelancer, kind of going from, from job to job um, and I eventually found myself um, working on probably what I ended up in TV loving the most was when I worked on City Hospital, which was a um, BBC One series. And then somehow the NHS got hold of me and I ended up making NHS films and government films and, and films with a message. And that was how I sort of got into more corporate and, and charity film. Yeah. I went on to set up a, a sort of film unit within the charity RNIB, um, which is a sight loss charity. Mm. Um, and I was there for about five and a half years um, before I went to the agency world. Now, the last question is, is, is just to talk about your industry per se and where you think it might be going in the future. Yeah, I mean, I think the future is about the next generation that are coming through, of course. And it's about having a really diverse workforce and people from all backgrounds being able to come into the industry. So, um, you know, not expecting people to work unpaid for months on end uh, to open it up so that it's not just middle class people that can do it, um, you know, apprenticeship schemes as well, so it's not just people who've been able to go to university who are able to do it, yeah. that it, it just needs to be opened up a bit more. I think there's a lot of work being done in the industry at the moment, which I think is really positive. Um, and we're hoping we can speed it along um, so we can start to see, see the change. Definitely, and it's been lovely to be part of Evcom and to see, you know, the shadow board coming through and some of the work that's being done through Evcom with mentoring yeah. people and, and you know, yeah. doing what's right for the next. We're going for it. Yeah. <laughs>